Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are going to have super fun with color. I'm going to demonstrate a painting today uh, with somebody who's never picked up a paintbrush before can do as well. Uh, it just requires uh, two, three colors and two, three different types of paintbrushes. Uh, I hope that I can make it super simple for you. So let's get started. So I am going to pick up my number 6 round brush and dip it in cadmium yellow paint. I am then going to start making a circle around here and then make an outline of cadmium red and then blend the two colors. Let me start by making a circle. Now I'm going to use the same brush and take cadmium red paint. I'm going to make an outline around this circle. Now to blend the colors, I'm going to pick up cadmium yellow and put it on top of the cadmium red so that the two colors blend in. You can see the slow transition from the yellow to the cadmium red. Now I'm again going to pick up cadmium yellow and make a concentric circle around this cadmium red circle. Notice that I'm not uh, wiping off my brush anytime so that I keep getting a tinge of the other color when I'm laying down the other color. So that gives a beautiful transition from one color to the other. Make sure that you don't get any hard lines and keep blending the color that you're putting on the canvas. Uh, do keep blending in till it completely becomes a smooth stroke. I'm going to keep picking cadmium yellow and cadmium red alternatively and make concentric circles. So uh, I'm going to put this on time lapse so that you can see the process quickly. Now the complete space below is going to be painted in cadmium red. Now that the background is done, we will let it dry for some time. It is very important for this painting for the background to dry before we start putting our swirly tree on it. Okay, it's been 15 minutes, the background is dry. Let's start tracing the tree using a chalk so that we can know where and how the branches and the trunk would be. So, uh, I'm starting to make the trunk here with a very light chalk. I'll slowly go up and branch off into the first solely branch. The first branch will be a bit low and above it the other branches would come. 
just make a swirl at the end and from here make the other branch go in any direction you want with the swirls and just keep having fun with it so now uh, let me get hold of my mars black paint uh, and start painting the branches now to make the trunk and the branches i'm going to use my fillboard brush and i'm going to use it in black color make sure that uh, the brush is really wet and the paint is wet as well so that uh, the paint can uh, really flow when we are making the trunk and the branches here i am putting a lot of water in the paint so as to get an inky consistency so that it's very easy to uh, make uh, the tree so uh, now i've started uh, painting the trunk and i'm just putting a uh, color over the chalk line that i had already traced once you've already put the chalk line it's uh, really easy to uh, follow the direction and uh, start making your swirls very easily just be careful that uh, towards the end of the swirl you are not making a very thick line because that part of the branch is going to be the thinnest now let's start making the second branch i'm again tracing the chalk line and just following the direction of the chalk line with my paint brush for the second one uh, i'll be making a downward swirl so that it just adds a bit more beauty to the tree i'll take my brush and again end with a swirl again keeping in mind that the end of the swirl has to be a uh, way thin done now let's make the third one third one also will begin from here and add and it'll end at the edge of the canvas on top so now i'll start filling in the tree the only thing that i'll keep in mind is that that the uh, trunk will be the widest at the bottom and then it'll keep getting thinner as we uh, get near the swirls I will also start adding swirls wherever I find space again using my fillboard brush and have fun with it. I'm going to make the smaller swirls now using a thin round brush. Just see wherever you see some space and put in the small swirls around it. Make sure that this space in this branch is empty because we are going to make the swing here so keep that space empty so i'm going to make one swirl here and the other one over here making a swirl with the round brush is pretty easy because it's a pointed brush and you can easily get the circular direction circular stroke movement with it i'll make a big one on the second branch here you know this is the real fun part of this painting because you can just keep adding swirls 
on the branches and beautifying the tree more and more it's really up to you where you want the soles Let's make this more exciting by adding dots around the branches. It's going to make the tree even prettier. I have completed making the tree and now I have to make the swing. For the swing, I am going back to my filbert brush and dipping it my uh, Mars black paint. You just have to make two straight lines here which are parallel to each other. So here goes my first line. and then the next one there's a gap of around one inch between the two lines so this is the rope of the swing we now have to make the board just make a line parallel to sorry perpendicular to these two uh, lines Now I am back to my thin round brush and I have to make uh, two small nails below the board. The first one will be just below the first row and the second one below the second row. And now we have to make two thin threads coming out of these nails. And ta-da! The painting is done. So let's have a look at the final painting. And this is how it looks. I hope you liked my video and enjoyed it as well. If you want weekly subscriptions of my tutorials, then do hit the subscribe button. And don't forget that to like the video as well. Uh, I'm going to write a full description of the materials used in the painting. Uh, to make it super simple for you. Uh, so see you soon. Bye-bye.